All right, if you're not hiring professional photography for your vacation rentals, you're missing out on thousands of dollars in reservations and getting those clicks. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys all about professional photography. I have over 25 years of experience, so let's go. All right, you guys, I've been a photographer for a very long time shooting a ton of architecture. So in this video, I'm not gonna go down the rabbit hole of every single detail and settings I use on my camera and whatnot, but I'm gonna help you guys find a professional photographer, how to communicate with that photographer, what you need for photos for Airbnb, VRBO, whatever you're using it for, for your vacation rental. This is the kind of camera that your photographer should have. Another great tip, real quick, Airbnb is offering free photography for a lot of people in certain cities. So make sure you check that out. But let's jump into it. I'm gonna show you guys a handful of basics, what to look for, and we're gonna take a couple photos. Okay, this is the basic setup that I use. Tripod, number one, gotta have a sturdy, strong tripod. I'm on the Canon. I love Canon, been shooting it forever. This is the Canon R5. And then my lens of choice for architecture is a 16 millimeter to 35. Little tip here, never go wider than a 16. You start getting distortion and weird lines and all that stuff. So that's just a basic setup. If you have one of these, you're in a good space. If not, make sure you hire someone that has this setup at least. Okay, so you wanna go under your settings, go under bracket, bracket. Do at least two stops. And then I like to overexpose by one full stop. It just brings a lot more light in for you. Then I have my timer that goes on. And let's do a shot. So what that does, it takes three shots. And you guys can see here, my main source of light is the window light here. I don't like to mix any other light. So all natural light and make sure you're shooting straight on. Make sure all your lines are straight. Make sure you have depth in your photo and you can really see the image this way, nice and clean. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and make a PDF for you, step-by-step -step of all the settings I use on my camera, what softwares I like to use when I edit, because we're shooting three shots, we have to merge them together, I like to use Lightroom. So if you want a step-by-step -step on how I do everything, use the link below and you'll get a PDF sent to you. All right, so when you're shooting, you're really trying to capture the entire room and show it off the best you possibly can. So when furniture is out of order, make sure you guys are putting the furniture back to order so you have nice clean lines. See how these pillows, nice and fluff, they look really good. You just want your furniture to look really good and really clean. And then find where the main source of light's coming from, and then that's where you can get your best angles. So I always like to make sure everything is lined up correctly and just looks the best it possibly can, you know? So you always wanna focus on your five top images for your listing. Those are the most important. So we did the living room, which is like the main hangout. And then the kitchen to me is always like one of the most important parts. And we go overboard in our kitchen, so you really wanna make sure you get a money shot on your kitchen. So when you're shooting your vacation rental, you're gonna run into some tight areas like the bathroom and stuff, but you really wanna cover the entire house. And if you're gonna spend all this money cleaning it, getting it ready in preparation, make sure you do every room, do a couple different angles, that way you can use it for social media, or maybe you like one angle better, or if you're not getting as many bookings, you can switch up the photos on your listing. So since you're spending all this time, definitely take a bunch of different photos of every room so you have it. All right, now that you got all the photos taken of the house, let's go back to the office. We're gonna jump into Lightroom and show you how I do my quick edits and show you the final product. Let's go. All right, you guys, now we're back in my office. I'm gonna jump on the computer like I was telling you guys earlier. I use Lightroom, so I'm gonna download all my photos into Lightroom. I'm gonna show you guys how we merge them together and do the basic retouching, get them ready so they look. Okay, so what we're gonna do on here, you grab the three images we took a really to keep it simple, there's a dark image that's gonna pick up all the highlights that are coming through the window. And then there's a, like an average shot is basically what they call it. Average shot for the inside, and then we go overexpose. I usually go overexpose about a stop. So we grab those three images on the computer, and then we want to go in Lightroom, you go to photo, 
merge and then you call HDR. So what it's gonna do is blend all the images together and pick out the highlights, the shadows, and merge them together to give you the best quality image. But of course, after you do that, you're still gonna have to make some tweaks, but it's a really quick, easy way to get some great shots. All right, my computer's fast, so it's already done. So as you can see right here, the image is nice and clean. So basically what it does is it helps you bring in the highlights, the shadows, gives a lot of detail. It's just kind of like an overall image. So then you basically just want to go in your development settings. And then, you know, there's a bunch of presets. Some of the presets will work for this. Sometimes it won't. Sometimes you just have to kind of do your own thing. One good tip, if you hit R, then it will bring up all your straight lines. You can kind of get some straight lines going. And I'm just going pretty fast. I'm not going to go down the full rabbit hole unless you guys want me to make a full on video on how to do this to a T, I will, but I'm just doing basic. But a couple of quick tricks, you just go to auto and it'll help auto correct all the straight lines. But then you want to do is just play with the curves a little bit. I always like to have my image, whoa, a little too bad, a little too bad. Maybe your image is a little too bright. You can bring down the highlights. So it brings down this, hopefully brings in this window just a little bit more. The color is a little funky. I'm going pretty fast too, because I'm under the pressure of the video. But yeah, then, then just go in here and play with your settings really. Find what, what fits your vibe of the house, but I like to have mine a little bit more bright. Yeah, that's just the real basics of it. And then by then your image is ready to go and you're ready to hopefully get more bookings on Airbnb. Yeah, so once you get your images nice and retouched and you're really happy with the way the quality is, then you wanna go into Airbnb. You wanna pick your first five images because that's the most important. So if you see here on the screen, my first five images, I'm gonna do the kitchen because we got a really cool kitchen, the master bedroom, a little farm table vibe, the living room, which we shot, and then we did a night shot with the stars going all crazy, it's super cool. So let me just wanna show you real quick, I'm not gonna go down what the listing looks like, but just show you what the final images look like. So this is the shot that we were showing you guys. You can tell, very bright. You can see all the details in here. You can see there's a patio, a large TV, the plants, where people can sit. So you're really trying to tell a story in your photos. So just to go quick, you guys can see my listing below if you wanna dive into more details of what the photos look like. All right, so hopefully that was super helpful. If you guys like these kind of videos, uh, like, subscribe, write a comment. Let me know if you have any questions. And don't forget, I'm building out a PDF for you guys, step-by-step step on how I do this. So with the link below, do that, and I'll see you next week.